Are you struggling to set up a VR environment that can support multiple players? Current multiplayer VR setups require you to start in a specific location or share a map with other headsets. This can be complicated and time-consuming. Don't worry though, Vive has a solution. Marker-based location sharing with Visual Odometry Mode, or VO Mode. With VO Mode, you don't need to upload any files to your headset or stand in a specific location while facing a certain direction when you enter VR. In this video, we'll show you how to set up marker-based location sharing with VO Mode using Vive Business Plus, so you can create a VR environment that's easy for multiple players to join. Let's get started. Before creating your markers, you'll need to set up the headset. Open your computer's web browser and go to Vive Business Plus. Enroll the headset in Vive Business Plus by scanning a QR code. Create a batch configuration package for VO mode and select location sharing, then save it to the cloud. Create a group and assign the batch configuration package to it. Assign your headset to the group. This will put your headset in VO mode and enable marker-based location sharing. When players scan a marker, they'll be aligned to the coordinates 0, Y, 0 in the virtual scene. The Y coordinate is the marker's height. You can specify this when creating your markers. Make sure the floor is set as the tracking origin so the player's heights will be accurate. Now you're ready to create your markers. In the marker generator, select marker-based location sharing as the function and then specify a marker ID between 0 and 99. Specify the marker size. This is the length of each side of the marker. Aruka markers are square, so each side is the same length. We recommend making your markers at least 28 centimeters long on each side so they can be scanned easily from a short distance. If you want, you can specify the height of the marker. Marker height is defined as the distance from the floor to the center of the marker. You can also create an additional secondary marker. Save the JSON file to your phone. You'll need to retrieve it later when creating your tracking map. Make sure the DPI setting matches your printer's DPI setting. Generate your markers, then print them out and put them up in your play area. Leave at least 2 centimeters between the marker and the edge of the paper. Make sure the marker is smooth and flat, without any creases or blemishes. Also make sure the marker isn't tilted or upside down. If you're putting up two markers, make sure they're at least 150 centimeters apart. In terms of content development, some APIs are used differently for PC VR and AIO content. For example, the helper function for sending requests only needs to be applied to PC VR applications. Let's start with marker setting. For PC VR content, the JSON file that contains the marker settings should be saved to a specific file path on your PC. Measure the distance between a marker and any other element of the environment, such as the floor, from the center for AIO content, the marker settings from the JSON file should be inserted directly into the application code. Next, the application needs to know when to start and stop the marker scan. This API sends a request to start the marker scan, and this one sends a request to stop it. AIO applications use similar APIs for the same functions. These APIs can be packaged as a single button or event according to your needs. This API checks the status of the scan. To avoid affecting system performance, set the checking frequency to no more than twice per second. Location sharing stops when players exit an application, but we provide an API that enables AIO applications to restore the headset's position and resume location sharing. For more details, see the Location-Based Software Suite User Guide. 
We also provide sample projects for both PC VR and AIO applications. You can use them as a reference when creating VR content. You can find links to these sample projects in the description. Now you're all set. Marker-based location sharing is ready to go. Let's move to the play area and get started. Align your position in the virtual world according to the location of physical objects in your environment. Open your computer's web browser and go to Vive Business Plus. Last, align the virtual objects in the scene with the physical objects in your environment. If you're interested in learning more about marker-based location sharing and VO mode, follow the link in the description.